But I'm going to depart uh, briefly from the norms. Uh, there was a saying by our referred leader of Kubala Ego, blessed memory. You don't serve meal. You don't get a meal from the oppressor on a plate of gold. The only language understood by the oppressor is not appeasement, but confrontation. Any of any alone, I beg you, your grandma, so. So the only language understood by the oppressor is confrontation. At least in presenting to all my compatriots, speak about the version of powers, restructuring. Restructuring is the mantra of the Nazi Southwesterner. It is what you believe in. And our forefathers have been the vanguard of that for over six decades. If you have read the works of Obafiaolo and Rivald Bolaige, you will come across that there. They've set the agenda for us. For those of you who still believe so much in the corporate system of this country, I, say, I wish you good luck. But I know that the present structure cannot sustain this country for another 25 years. It is practically impossible. The world is becoming a neighborhood. It's no longer a, a, a global village. And everybody is becoming a local champion. The so-called civilized world, like Britain, Britain today is more or less a federation. On paper, it is a new unitary state. But today, it is more or less a federation. When the first referendum was conducted, whether the score should go or not, they got 19%. The second one gave them 45%. I bet you they dare not try the third one. Today, because the Englishman is very wise, he put in place, within two, two weeks during the campaign, they put in place certain parameters for the ways and the scores. Today, the ways have their own parliament, they have their own judiciary, they have their own uh, civil service. So also are the Scots. Today, Britain is more or less a federation. Nigeria is the only federation in the world with a unitary police. Even the state of Britain that is unitary in form has many police formations and organizations. In the United States, after the last count, they had 17,000 plus police formations, including universities and our institutions. Each of them has recognized by the state as their own police formation. For those of you who still believe so much in the corporate state of this country, you have to appreciate one thing as a Yoruba man that you are so blessed. You take a look at the geography, the map of Nigeria. Because many of us don't understand the political and geographical arithmetic of Nigeria. If you are in Obama, you take a look at the map. Your Obama land is the only zone that has access to the sea and land border. Look at the map. You have the longest coastal line from Badagri to Ibotaku in those states. You have the longest border line from Malaysia Baruba to Badagri. Many of you don't even know where Malaysia Baruba is located. And yet you are in Obama. Many of you don't know where Gopa is, where Goho is. Where Kishi is. And when you look at that, the South South has access to the sea, no land border. The South East is landlocked with very small land mass. Between Asaba and Enigo, it's a distance of 72 kilometers with three state capitals. It's not up to one local government in your state. And when you look at the, the land mass, of Nigeria, or your state alone is 28,000 plus. That is more than 23,000 of the southeast. The entire southeast. Or your state alone, the landmass of our state alone is more than the entire southeast landmass by over 5,000. So when you look at that, keep that at the back of your mind. Now, for the north, they have access to land border, no access to the sea. 
So that is why everybody now wants to live and die in the southwest. They all want to come here, live here, and die possibly seize their land from you. And that is where, for those of us who believe so much in the Dawn Commission, we need to give the Dawn Commission every support. The labor of our heroes past must not be in waste. When Bolaige was advocating for integration, he never knew that Nigeria came to this story state. We are in a very terrible position now in the country. For those of you who still believe, I repeat, everybody is now becoming a local champion. I, I went for IPA conference in October in Australia. You won't believe it. The Aborigines are coming back to take their lands after over 2,500 years of evacuation. They are coming back to ask for their lands. If you lose touch with your root, you will regret it. For, for those of you who think you can, once you are, you can't, there's no way. If you are staying in a place for 1,000 years, that doesn't make you an indigenous of the place. The problem with many of us is that we don't read. In 1973, when some of us were still in primary school, there was a madman called Idi Amin. He came around, he, he came around, and he came heavily down on the British Asia. After 650 years, they were all evacuated. And if you are still in doubt, let us look at the contemporary development now. Look at what is happening in Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwe farmers. After almost 700 years, the British farmers. What are they doing now? They are being evacuated. After over 700 years. If we get to that in Nigeria, so it is high time we all look inward and embrace the commission. To God be the glory, the Don Commission has come to stay. It will outlive many of us. By the special grace of God, the ideas, the ideas propounded by Bolaige, for those who have made it a part their pastime to castigate on Kubolaige, they should be told that there are millions of gays now. They should be told in clear and loud language that what we are witnessing today in the Dunn Commission was the brainchild of Bola again. That was the brainchild of Bola again. They have written about it. They have postulated it. And when you look at what is happening today, the Southwest is the only region that has peace, that people want to live in. Everybody wants to live and die in Lagos. Why? Bola again left. Chinubu took over and laid the foundation. Today, many of you don't know that that bridge that linked Admiralty to Ikoyi was not controlled by the federal government. It was constructed by the state government, Lagos State. Lakey was opened up by Lagos State government. And the template that was laid in Lagos is what has been adopted by the various western state governments. When you look at the road construction, you see that it's the same pattern. Today, Ogun State is the second largest owner of IGR. Thank God again for Dawn Commission. That, now, what all Ogun State did was just to key into the pattern set up by legal states. And other states is doing, what, is doing the same now. If you look at Lagos State by the express route, 33 kilometers of that road belongs to your state. So what all other states is doing now is to key, to replicate what Ogun State is doing from Shagamu to Bega. There is no vacant land. All Ogun State did was to key into that and start from the economic boom of Lagos. Why is it like that? Why are people rushing here? There are going to be demographic changes in the Southwest. I you must get ready for that. I'm happy my brother, the youth leader, was here this morning. I was go and get prepared. He who wants peace must be ready for war. He who wants peace must be ready for war. I repeat. I said this to Ghani Adam. That enough of Akbada wearing and uh, uh, walking stick and this thing by. Our youth must be ready. We knew what we did during the Nadeko era. Uncle Wayamababi is here. We knew what we did under the control of Uncle Bolaige. We knew what we went through. The young ones was, are not willing and ready to make any sacrifice. No wonder the president made the statement he made about the youth two days ago. We must put on our thinking caps. Let us cooperate with Don Commission. Our governors have been very... Anybody who thinks our governors are not doing the law to pay a visit to the South East and South South. You come back and give our governors a medal. So if I land at night, we are to go to the airport one day. 
I will say, look, if any of these governors come from the southwest, they will have been bought by now with their families. I, we don't appreciate what we have, but there are rooms for improvement. All we need to do now is to put on our thinking cap. Whoever has one or two ideas to put across to the commission should do that. And we cannot be pre preaching against imperial imperialism as and be perpetrating the same here. Are you about to quit the Kajau? Papa Sakwe is gone. But like it, like better many youths. So are you about to quit with the Kaja? And so shall I think what belongs to all of the seen by her? A time has gone past when some people, two, three people will gather and say, I will, we are speaking for the No, 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 no. The man from Shaki must be contacted. The man from Mede must be contacted. The man from Gotako must no. Now that somebody will say that in Abekuta or Lagos or Ijebu, I'm saying, no, no, that will not be acceptable. I was at the National Conference. But Saturday, he led the show, and I led the your state. And they were subsumed under the same moment, under me, and they knew what we went through. We will not take another new colonialism from anybody. The youth and the entire Yorubaris must prepare for what is coming up. This country cannot last for another 25 years. Quote me that I say so, unless you change the structure. So what I'm saying is that if you want to search on it, as for self-examination, you to have a for a new one. So don't stop all these things. We've been on this for over 60 years. Research only, research only, research only. Young as I am, I've attended more than 20 conferences in this hour over the issue of research only. And you can have a better job. So I won't pay it. You won't win it. Come on, 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 come on,